In this video, I want to introduce the concept of degeneracy. Now, degeneracy is a really important feature in multidimensional quantum systems. And since we just introduced our first multidimensional quantum system in the two-dimensional particle in the box, I wanted to use that example to motivate this concept of degeneracy. So let's consider the two-dimensional particle in the box. And to make things simple, I just uh, made each of the lengths equal. So L1 is equal to L2. There's only going to be one length for this box. You consider it like a perfect square, right? Where both of the sides are equal. Um, so if we consider that, right, then you can imagine two unique wave functions for the two dimensional particle in the box. One wave function is where the first quantum number is one and the second quantum number is two. And so for the wave function, that first sign argument that depends on X is going to have pi over L out front. And the second sign argument that has Y that depends on Y is going to have two pi over L out front. Now you can also imagine another wave function where the first quantum number is two and the second quantum number is one, right? Then in this case, the sign argument that depends on X is gonna have two pi over L out front and the sign argument that depends on Y is gonna have pi over L out front. Keep in mind, these are two unique distinct wave functions, right? Two unique distinct wave functions that have two different forms, right? They're similar, but they're unique and, and identifiable. They're different wave functions, right? However, the energy of this wave function, right, E12, would be 5H squared over 8ML squared. And the energy for this wave function, E of 2, 1, is going to be equal to 5H squared over 8ML squared. Right? They're actually going to have the exact same energy, even though they are unique identifiable states of the two-dimensional uh, particle in the box, they produce the exact same energy. We say that these energies are degenerate. Right, so that just means that they're distinct states that have the same energy, right? That's all degeneracy is. It's just when you have unique, distinct uh, quantum states that have the exact same energy, right? So then what would the, the energy um, levels look like for the two-dimensional particle in the box? Well, at the lowest level, you would have um, one, one, right? So you have E one, one at the bottom, but then at the next level, we would have these two states, right? You have E one, two, and you would have E to one, right? So we have these two distinct, unique levels that produce the same energy, right? I try to draw them on the same line, right? These will be at the same energy level, right? And then you would just keep going up from there, right? So you have E two, two, but then at the next level, you would have another degeneracy. You would have E three, one and E one, three at the same level, right? And then at the next level, you would actually have E three, two and E two, three, right? And then above that, you would have E three, three. And then you just can imagine this going up and up and up and up and up, right? But basically at each level, you're going to have these degeneracies. So whenever the degeneracy results in two identical energy levels, we call this doubly degenerate right so basically the, all of that means is that this uh quant particular quantum system produces energy levels that have or quantum states that have the same energy level two quantum states at each energy level that have the same energy right so that's the the case here this is going to be doubly degenerate you know we can have systems that produce triple degeneracies right um you can imagine that the 3d particle in the box might produce such degeneracies so um so yeah so this is basically what degeneracy is 2d particle in the box would be a doubly degenerate system um this is going to be something very important to keep your eye on for every other quantum system that we encounter. Any multidimensional quantum system is prone to have some level of degeneracy and is gonna be an important feature to exploit in quantum mechanics.